The telephone helps us because it lets us know right away when we're needed and how, when, and where we can help people. How would I call the police if I needed them? This poster your uncle made will show you how. We want to use this to show children how to get help. In an emergency, you dial zero to get the telephone operator. Be sure you hear the dial tone first. Remember? Yes, sir. A zero is the last hole on the dial. Now, see? Be sure you bring the dial all the way around to the stop. Then remove your finger and let the dial go back. Now, you dial zero once, and the operator will answer. Then what? Then you say, I want a policeman, please, and the operator will connect you with the police station. Now, when somebody like the sergeant here answers, you tell him who you are, where you are, and why you're calling the police. Police station, Sergeant Evers. My Linda's lost. Oh, that's too bad. May I have your name and address, please? Mrs. Jane Hoskins. Mm-hmm. 42 Barton. And your phone number? 555-1029. How old is Linda? Five. Five? Yes. Where did you see her last? In our front yard. And how long has she been missing? Half hour. And what was she wearing? Pink dress and a yellow sweater, hmm? Yes, sir. All right, Mrs. Hoskins, don't worry. We'll find her and let you know as soon as we do. Oh, hurry. Yes, ma'am. Goodbye. Thanks, Sergeant. Now, see how careful we are to write everything down? Pardon me. Yes, sir. Get out an all-points bulletin. Five-year-old girl lost. Linda Hoskins, last seen on Elm Street. Here's a description. Sarge, this is Officer Jensen, 6th and Elm Street. That's what I'm calling you about. She was all alone, looking in a toy store window. Oh, sure, she's fine. Good work, Officer Jensen. We'll have a car to pick her up right away. See how the telephone helps us do our job? Call Mrs. Hoskins and tell her we found her little girl. Come over here at the window. I want to show you something. There it is, the telephone building. In many ways, it ties the community together. When you dial a number, this equipment inside the telephone building automatically connects you with the person you're calling whether he's across the street or miles and miles away. Thousands and thousands of calls go through here every day. This is Riley's Dairy. We need uh, 50 pounds of butter. 50 pounds of butter. And uh, one crate of large eggs. We'll deliver it today. This is Mrs. Lee, doctor. When can I bring Tommy in for his checkup? Let me see. Uh, how about Tuesday, uh, 4 o'clock? That will be fine. My lady's garage, Joe speaking. This is Les Perkins. My produce truck's broken down. I don't know what's the matter. Well, where are you? Highway 26 near Maple Avenue. Okay, Les, I'll be right out. Lena's mother asked me to stay for lunch. May I? All right, Maria, but be home by 3 o'clock. I will. That shipment gone to Plainview yet? Not yet, Carl. We're loading it now. Good. Listen, Jess, they just called. They want three more cartons of soap. Okay, Carl. But telephone service wouldn't be complete without people to handle special calls and emergencies. Let's hear what the operators are saying. Mr. Hansen, please, long distance calling. I'm sorry, the line is busy. I'll keep trying and call you. Mr. Marco, I'm ready on your call to Honolulu. I'll connect you with the fire department. On your call to Sunnyside, Mr. McCarthy will be back in an hour. Will you talk with anyone else? Thank you. The fire department needs the telephone as much as we do. I'm sure of that. Well, thanks a lot, Captain. Not at all. Thank you for bringing the poster. Have fun, everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye. It's after 2.30. I wonder where Bobby is. I'm sure he'll be here soon. Like Quagga. 
jet plane flies a lot higher and faster than Quacker. Can telephones reach up into the sky? They can and they do. And even more amazing, men are working with communication satellites that orbit the Earth. These satellites can carry telephone messages and television pictures to and from many different parts of the world. And outer space? Yes, Jimmy, outer space too. Man himself has entered space. All systems go A-OK. -okay. Why, it's Mr. Man. Yes. And just think, Jimmy and Susie, someday in the future you may pick up a telephone and soon be talking with your friend, even if he's on the moon. When do we go, Uncle Ben? Pretty soon. Hey, Jimmy! Here he comes. Jimmy, I couldn't find my glove. That's okay, Bobby. Let's go.